Don't jump, don't jump. <clears throat> nah. That's a four. Very nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to my buddy. Alright. Guaranteed. Guaranteed it's broken. Because the box is not supposed to be bent like that. What's going on all you real people? Welcome back to the channel guys. So I ordered a fishing pole off Amazon, which I knew from the get-go was gonna be sketch, and I've heard all these bad things about people ordering fishing poles off Amazon, them getting with the tips broken, them snapped in half, because apparently the carrier who delivers the package does not carry it that lightly. But anyway, I ordered a fishing pole. It's a really good fishing pole. I'm not gonna tell you all the name of it yet. I'm gonna open the box. But just take a minute and look at the box, guys. Look, it's bent there, it's cracked there. It's a mess. But uh, let's go ahead and open her up and see how the fishing pole looks inside. <laughs> because that's really what I'm, I'm really curious about. I mean, I spent $150 on this. So if it's broken, I'm gonna be a little mad, but I don't wanna get my money back. But I just have to see if the Amazon myths are true okay so we're gonna open it up there we go and the tip is not broken wow okay i'm gonna be really surprised if nothing on this rod is broken like it's kind of what this whole thing was was just a theory to see if, if i ordered a rod off amazon if it was gonna get broken and it is not broken, at least from what I can tell. Let me open it up. So we can see. Oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be an awesome, awesome ride. Mojo Bass, seven foot one, medium heavy, fast by St. Croix Rods. The best fishing rods on earth. And already guys, first impressions is this rod is super lightweight, super, super like, sturdy it's a very sturdy rod you can feel it in your hands it's lightweight but you can feel it's stiff and it's, it has a really good parabolic action really soft bend tip but really really thick right here in the middle exactly where you want the backbone to be so a really 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 awesome awesome rod now what made me want to get these is a bunch of my friends use these rods they like pray up and down st croix mojo bass best rods in the business and what's really cool with these rods no matter where you buy them you get a five-year warranty so if anything happens to your rod all you have to do to send in the warranty is sent, take a picture and send it to st croix after you register your rod and they will give you a whole brand new rod for free that's awesome that is a great great warranty that is something really really nice to have especially with rods nowadays because let's face it rods are bound to get broken that's what this is going to happen slammed in doors slammed in tailgates big bass breaks it, step it on in the boat, you know, just things like that happen. So having a warranty on your fishing rod is like a must have nowadays, especially when you're spending upwards to $150 on a fishing rod, It you just have to have that warranty. It just makes it all worth it. And that's another reason why I went out and got a St. Croix rod is because of that warranty. Not only because they're really great fishing rods. I mean, I can't really speak yet. This is my first one. So I'll let y'all know in a later video or y'all see me using it, but uh, already first impression, super lightweight, super durable, really good, strong backbone. I really like that. But the tip is sensitive enough that it'll detect pretty much anything. So this one is the jig slash bait one. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'll try to get up there for y'all. Mm, barely. Okay, but yeah, this is the jig and bait one. So mainly what this is gonna be used for is uh, small jigs, uh, three eighths and under, uh, Texas rigs, I think I could probably even get away with throwing a spinner bait and a chatter bait on this because of the fast action. So it's a really sensitive tip. So I think those two baits would also come in really good handy on this rod. Now, not only did I go out and buy a rod, I, I can I couldn't I couldn't do it. I mean, you can't expect me to just go out and buy a rod and not buy 
a good reel to go with it. So that brings you up to unboxing number two. And what I got is freaking amazing, especially for the price. Not the one I wanted, but I'm really happy with this one. And the reel I'm talking about is the Shimano LXT XT 150. This is an awesome, awesome reel. Let me go ahead and open it up for you guys so y'all can see it. Don't need the box anymore. Wrapped up. But this is part of the LXT series of Shimano reels. Now this reel uh, retails in for about $130, $140 after taxes, which for this reel is really not a bad deal at all. I got the 6.3 to 1 gear ratio. It's the 150, so it's the 150 size spool. It is a sleek matte black finish almost with this like really cool teal blue right there on the LXT, XT on the uh, reel and then right here on the side on some of these parts you can just see that blue really just stick out. So this is a really, really amazing reel and I think pairing it to this uh, St. Croix Mojo Bass 7 foot one is going to be the perfect, perfect mixture. 631 gear ratio, 7 foot one medium heavy fast, like how can you go wrong? I mean, look at that. I don't want to try to hit anything, but y'all check out that combo. Does that not just look freaking sweet? Oh, I cannot wait to go and put this. Oh, it, ugh, I can't wait to go test this out, guys. Y'all have no idea. It's just going to be freaking fantastic. So the next thing I'm about to do is I'm going to string this reel up. I'm going to put 15-pound fluorocarbon on here. 15 pound. I'd probably get away with 10, but I think I'm out of, I'm, I mean, okay, so what I'm about to put on this reel is I'm about to put on a 15 pound fluorocarbon, go ahead and string this bad boy up and get it ready for use. I think I'm out of 12 pound fluorocarbon, but I know I for sure I have 15. So what I'm probably gonna do is throw on some 15 pound fluorocarbon on this bad boy and get it ready for the testing phase. My favorite part, I love the testing phase. Get to go catch fish. Really good sense of Alright, enough playing around. Let's get this guy up here. That is a uh, bigger than what I thought fish. See how I got it right there on the top? There we go. Okay, this is real test. This rod and drill right here. Yeah, this is probably a four. Don't jump. Don't jump. Nah. That's a four. <laughs> <laughs> she was just not moving, bro. I thought it was a stick at first. So I kept running this bait and like tapping her across the head. So I started seeing her like come out and then come back in. And then that last cast, bro, she just annihilated it. That is a four. Yeah, that's a four. That is 17 and a half inches. Alright, time to let her go. That's how you always want to treat these bait fish after you catch them. Be super gentle with them and let them go just like that. And always let them go close to where their bed is. Because if you let, take a bass away from his bed and it looks 
before I get eaten, that is like a whole generation of bats just gone because of one stupid mistake. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing of the Mojo Bass St. Croix Bass Rod and of course the Shimano SLX XT version bait casting reel. Both really, really amazing, amazing products. I couldn't be happier with this combo. I haven't built a combo for myself in so many years. I've only been doing bits and pieces and mix and matching. So to finally actually put this one together myself, I could not be happier with a better combo. Seven foot one, medium heavy, fast tip. So you get that really, really, really good bend in the tip. Really, really good bend. It's, it's amazing. And then the six, six three to one gear ratio of the Shimano SLX XT, which is fast, but not too fast. You want it right there in that perfect middle. So fishing anything like chatter baits, spinner baits, even Texas rig and jigs do not need a fast retrieve. Does it help? Of course, but sometimes Slow and steady just wins the race. But guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. It was a pleasure making it for y'all. I love you guys. As always, y'all keep it real. And if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Little Action channel. Hit that notification bell down there for me, please, so you can get alerted as soon as one of these awesome videos drops for you guys. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or comments for me in the comments below. I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. Peace.